to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be doing a haul of everything that I've bought during quarantine. Now, I hate to admit it, but there's like around $700 worth of things that I'm about to show you. And really, looking at it, it really does not look like it would be that much. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's get right into it. Okay, so the first place that I got a few things from was Sephora. Now, I don't have the actual items with me, but I picked up my birthday set, which was the two Briogeo things. So I got a shampoo and their conditioning mask. Then I also restocked on my The Ordinary Serum. So I got their Niacinamide and Zinc and their Vitamin B5 serum as well. And then I also picked up this color corrector by Sephora. It's called their Bright Future Color Corrector. It's just a peach color and it's supposed to help your under eyes. So I've been trying it and it helps a bit because my under eyes are really bad. And then I just put my concealer over that. I also got a scalp massager. I don't really know why. I just like felt like I wanted one. So I got one. Next up, some items that I can actually show you are from Mendo. So they had a 50% off their entire store, new or old. So I went kind of crazy and bought a bunch of new things. So I got a few different tops. This is the first one. So it's just plain white. And as you can see, it has like that weird like boob detail thing. I don't know. I got that one. I've been experimenting with shorter t-shirts and like tanks and stuff because I don't really wear those. So this is stepping out of my comfort zone for me. Next up, I got a plain black tank top that's like slightly cropped. So yeah, it's just like a v-neck one and I thought it was really cute. Then I got this like really super cropped cream tank top that looks like this. So as you can see, it has like the buttons and everything and it's, I have it crossed in the back right now, but you can have it normal as well. And it's like super cropped. That's the only thing. So I have to wear it with like really high waisted pants. Then I got a one that's similar to that, but in black and it has stripes. It has the same kind of buttons. And yeah, then for pants from Mendo, I got a few pairs of Levi's because they were 50% off. So I was like, why not? So both of the Levi's that I got are a size too big for me, which is fine because I'm making it work. And they're both um, the wedgie style. So here's the first pair. They're just these nice blue ones. As you can see, this is what they look like on the bottom. They just have like that little kind of cut, not really ripped detail. Then I also got a black pair, so they're the same thing. They just, they have like, they both have the button opening and it's just plain black and then it has a slit on the right knee. I also got a pair of black joggers, but I think they're in the wash right now, I can't really find them. But they're really cute and they just have like pockets on the side. The last two things I got from Mendo are in this bag and I don't really know how to show this, but basically they had some like prom dress style dresses and i was like they were really cheap so i was like let me just try them and see um make sure to go follow me on my instagram to see if i actually end up posting any pictures in them but okay get ready because this color is kind of crazy um i kind of love it though it's just like cut like this and the back is like all strappy it's a super long dress this reminds me of serena vanderwoodson like something she'd wear um they're both kind of too big for me but I'm gonna make it work. So I got that one in that color. And then I also got this one. I was thinking my, I got this in a size bigger so like my mom could try it. This one, I love the color of this. As you can see, like look how pretty. It's literally hot pink, same style. And just a super long flowy satin dress. So I'm excited to wear those and figure out how I can like alter them to fit me. But yeah, that's everything from Mendo. Next up, I have a few pieces from Fabletics. So they were having a sale, so I bought some new leggings. The first pair are these ones. I don't really know what they're all called. I kind of forget. This was like the weathered or heathered or I don't even know, cross one. And it has, a, this is what the band look like. It's like a light pink and a navy crossed. And then they're just like a grayish color. And I think they're seven eighths. I don't really like these ones as much just because of the band. They're not really a compression type. They're more of like a everyday type vibe. And then I got these blue ones. I honestly thought they were going to be gray on the website, but they're blue. So I don't know if you can see, but it's like very, very light blue. And yeah, they're cute. I also got a pair of their Trinity utility, like pocket legging and just plain black. 
but those are in the wash right now so i will insert a picture for you to see the next few things i'm going to show you i think were the first things i ever got like while in quarantine but i ordered some shirts from garage these were my first shirts that were stepping out of my comfort zone for me so i just got the same tanks in different colors this is their bungee cami so i got it in this cute green color then i got it in this coral color and then this one's my favorite but it's in this like baby blue robin blue color i also got like another purple one to it and it was in like a different style of shirt but it didn't fit me right and i went to go return it and they refunded it to a visa prepaid card that i didn't have because i threw it out so i ended up just losing my money on that one so when things started to open up a few of my friends and i went to a thrift store i only got two things so here is what i got so the first item is this green tank it's just like a mint green long tank that i need to crop or i could possibly add lace to the bottom and make it into like a mini dress but i don't know it's definitely way too short right now to be a dress but i got that and then i also have the shirt that i'm wearing right now so it's just a um purple tank that i ended up cropping today i feel like these are kind of just like really thick though so i don't really know if i like it but we're dealing with it i think this is my most recent purchase but i got a fitbit so it's just the fitbit inspire hr um i already love it i use it every single day and i sleep with it and i just think it's amazing Next up is winners. Um, when the stores began to open up, I went kind of crazy because I was thinking about like all the things I could buy. So starting off with tops, I got this one. Um, this is just a similar to like the one that I'm wearing right now. It's just a white version. Ribbed crop tank with a bit of detailing. Then I got this long sleeve black um, shirt just because like I don't really have any long sleeves. I had these ones on hangers because I had them hanging up, but I have this long sleeve um, light baby yellow cropped sweater. And then this one, um, it was stepping out of my comfort zone as well. So it's just like this white, I don't even know what kind of material because it's like very thin and like see-through shirt and you can like scrunch this up as high as you want or as low i also got a pair of pink leggings that i don't have with me right now i think they're in the wash as well and then i also got the black and white shirt that i'm wearing in my unboxing my macbook video i'll also have that linked below or up in the card so you can watch that as well in terms of other things that i bought um i got this purse i thought this was cute it was just like a plain little clutch um it was really cheap I thought it was kind of an essential little bag to have, so I got it. I also got another one that's like in a different pattern for my aunt for her birthday. And I also went ahead and stocked up on some serums. I'm going to try some different brands. So this one is a hyaluronic acid and vitamin B5 serum. And then this one is just a niacinamide serum. I started stocking up on some of my dorms things as well because they were good prices. So this one's kind of weird. But I got this like set of measuring cups and spoons. Um, they're from Easter as you can tell because they have little bunnies. And I thought it was kind of cute. I don't really care. But like, okay guys, this was 80 cents. So I was like, when are you ever going to find these things cheaper than 80 cents? You're not going to. So I'm getting these. I also stocked up on some towels. So this one is kind of really cringy but also like me like ugh, you know just like that's something i would have so i got these they're two hand towels and then i also got this pack and it has two bath towels two hand towels and two face towels and honestly i think i'm good for towels right now then i also just finished ordering some more pictures for my wall because as you can see i have a little collage going um i want to like fill them up so i ordered 30 more pictures from Amazon, I got two things. So one of them I can't really show you because it's being used right now, but it's an SD card because apparently the one that I was using before was like not right for my camera. So thanks to this SD card, we are able to film this video without any stops. Like I literally used to have to stop after every single minute to film. I also got this plug-in hub for my MacBook. It's not gonna focus on camera if I show you it real up close, but it has two USB ports, a SD, card port and a micro sd card port and as well as an hdmi spot and then the last thing on my haul is this light that you see i don't know if you've noticed but the color is changing in the back it's literally just a singular light bulb that i got because i was gonna get the tiktok lights that everyone else has but then i was like 
I can't really move those. Like, I know people say you can, like, rip them off, but I just doubt they're going to. So, at least with this bulb, I can, like, move it around and, like, take it to uni with me. It's not as cool, but it's there. I think I'm also gonna buy a projector, possibly. But, yeah, that's basically all I bought. Um, it wasn't that much, but it also added up to a lot. So, hurting my bank account. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and comment down below what else you want to see from me next. Make sure to subscribe if you're new and turn on your post notification bell so you never miss a post from me. And that's it. Um, tell me what you think about the new intro, the new outro, the possibly new lighting. I need to fix the lighting in this room still. So, sorry. This is what we're working with. You can literally see my shadows in the back. Anyways, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Bye.